Hey everyone, it's Calvin the Irishman here, and this is my Rebuilding the Oakland Raiders with John Madden series. <clears throat> In this episode, we take on the Seahawks. Um, I'm looking forward to the Beast Mode and Russell Wilson. Uh, this will be a true test of my defense for the most part. <clears throat> But anyway, and my offense, I guess, because uh, the Seahawks are very well known for their defense. Uh, so far, my Raiders are undefeated, and it is, I'm not even sure what week it is. I think it's week nine. So, so far, so good. John Madden has clearly done his job to this point. Can't really complain. Um, I'm very happy with the trades that I've made. They've panned out for me. Macklin, Selleck, Ellington have definitely made my offense more of a threat. And my defense, I picked up Bailey, Asante Samuel, Jamal Greer, and I traded for McLeod. All have panned out and done excellent things for my defense. So here we are. We're taking on Beast Mode and Russell Wilson. And so far, this is not the play that I want to start with. Not sure why Asante Samuel is celebrating that play. But here we go again. Let's see what we can do here. Um, Khalil Mack came up with a couple important sacks in this game. Um, I do not believe this was one of them, but I... And yeah, they didn't even catch that on the sideline. So we're good there. An overthrow by Russell Wilson. Kierce couldn't come down with it in, in um, the field of play. Um, and clearly this is going to be a pass, so I set my offense up. Uh, well, my defense up, and Russell Wilson doesn't throw it accurately enough to make the completion. So a quick three and out for the Seahawks. And my drive brings me into the red zone. And here I try to run it in with Ellington. And somehow the ball comes loose. And this lovely play takes place. So yeah. This time it wasn't the Seahawks inside the five that screwed up a play. But anyway. Uh, I still think my offense is good. I try to run it with Ellington again. Um, he almost makes it into the end zone on that play. And so we're going to try again to see if Ellington can't uh, put it in this time. And he does very quickly. So this play I do love. These two couple plays. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to say about this one. But I do think it's funny that the Seahawks managed to bumble something up near the five-yard line in this play. Um, Kahil Mack gets a sack, forces the fumble on Russell Wilson. So it's weird that the Seahawks screw something up near the five-yard line, sort of like they did in the Super Bowl. Sorry, Seahawks fans. <coughs> And their offense just, you know, falls apart at this point. Fault starts. Um, next play, they give up a quick sack, which causes Russell Wilson to mm, get hurt. Oh, I lied. It's the next play. Ah! <laughs> I'm so off with this commentating lately. Oh, well. But anyway, I just think it was funny. It, that the Seahawks go down in a play where they're inside or near the five yard line and they just can't can't pull it together. Uh, I get my sack there, forces them the third and eighteen. Their offense is just falling apart at this point, but it's only the second uh, first half, and then I get another sack and Russell Wilson is hurt. This is probably the best thing for my defense. Um, I mean, they don't have a, quarter, a really good quarter, backup quarterback. They have Traverse Jackson. 
He's not a bad quarterback, but not great. So I'm thinking, hmm. And what's funny is Russell Wilson's only been in the league for two years. Um, my offense sort of, you know, they fluster out here. Um, I couldn't get to the end zone, but I did manage to, you know, uh, get close enough for a field goal. And I'm just not going to take my chances, even though I have three timeouts. It's not worth it. I, I'm going to take the easy points, let the timeout run from the hat, run out. So, <laughs> that's where I stand on this one. I don't see the point in, you know, forcing something and then losing the ball. And this is sort of the same deal. Um, I was inside the 30. Selleck doesn't quite get the 10 yard, the, doesn't quite get to the first down markers. So, I'm on fourth down. And I might as well take the three points because, you know, it puts me up, basically puts me up by two scores. They have to get two touchdowns in order to get by me. Granted, 17 to, you know, 17 to 14, I'm still winning and they still have to score again. But I'm thinking even if they do score again, I am up by... You know, I'm only down by a point. It's something that I can get with a field goal, and clearly I've been able to get close enough for field goals on offense. So I'll take my chances, and I'll just take the points. And my defense, you know, they've stepped up a lot. Uh, you can't be disappointed right there. They almost get a sack on Jackson, but he gets the ball off in time. Can't really complain. Um, I think this was the one mishap in my offense the whole game, if I remember correctly. I'm not really sure. No, 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 not this play. I don't even know how this happened. I just, I wung the ball and it ended up where I needed to go. This play is the one mishap of all game. Uh, Carr throws an interception. I think that, I don't even know who that is. Oh, it was Wagner. I wanted to say Wagner, but I wasn't sure. I'm not a Seahawks fan. Um, I just thought it was funny that they had a similar, you know, they had a turnover near the five-yard line. That was the whole, that's the funniest thing that happened this whole game. There, I I think, was it Woodson or McLeod? I can't even tell. I don't know people by their numbers, so... I give the ball to Reese. There's 18 seconds left in the quarter. They just couldn't stop me. I was able to run the ball for enough first downs, wear the timeouts out. Um, yeah, this is the end of the game, guys. I beat the Seahawks 20 to 14. I think the only reason I really did is because their offensive line was battered up. If you didn't know, notice back in the injury section, there was a few offensive linemen there that were completely beat up so their offensive line is hurting which means Russell Wilson wasn't protected and I ended up injuring well one of my players ended up injuring Russell Wilson and Traveris Jackson just doesn't have the talent um, this is probably Derek Carr's lowest QBR so far 266 yards no touchdowns one interception and only a 23 yard long pass um, Ellington, again, one of his, not his best game. One touchdown, one, one fumble, uh, 20 rush attempts, and 65 yards. He's usually either 4 or 5 yards per rush. This game he was 3.2. So not his best game ever. Jeremy Macklin, one of his better games, though, even though he didn't get a reception touchdown. Uh, he was over 100 yards on nine receptions. So, yeah, I didn't even bother with blocking this time. I don't even know why I stopped in the other videos for blocking. Woodson is the tackle leader with seven tackles. That's kind of pathetic. Um, Khalil Mack is the leader in sacks. Wagner is the leader in interceptions in this game. Um, yeah, pass deflections. 
Champ Bailey leads that. So he defended off a couple passes, which is nice for me. Khalil Mack had a forced fumble, so did Malil, but no one recovered on that one. Well, right from the Seahawks did, actually, I think. No, right? Uh, recovered. Ellington's. But this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching.